Hey there, this is Josh Gwynn back with another advanced LinkedIn training. And in this training section, I am going to show you this is number four of the top five things that you need to do to supercharge your LinkedIn profile that can be done today within the next hour or two and will put you ahead of probably 80% of the people on LinkedIn when you do this. So um, if you need proof of this information, I'll go back to my home screen and you can, you can see that I know what I'm talking about. Um, if you scroll down my profile, um, you will get, you see that I have 4,683 connections. Uh, my profile has been viewed by 73 people in the last day. And I am in the, t up, improved my profile views by 12% in the last uh, 15 days. And that I am in, if, as far as in my connections, I'm in the top 5% for profile views in my connections. I have over 4,600 connections. I'm in the top 5%. So I strongly recommend that you do all of these things. But if you just do these five, you will be ahead of 80% of the people on LinkedIn. So um, number four of five is to flesh out your work experience. So the second section under your summary is your work experience. And this is a place where you can add a lot of keywords where you can uh, have people find you by the company that you work for or were, have worked for in the past and where you can display um, the work that you've done for specific companies. So I uh, definitely want to flesh out this area of your LinkedIn profile and you want to add a lot of keywords that you want people to find you for. So for me, uh, my company is Redline Digital Consulting. I do web design and social media marketing for businesses. So the first couple of uh, words in this um, summary here are website design and social media marketing. So notice that I'm adding a not only a lot of keywords, but then I go into bullet points of the services that I offer. So I talk about the things, uh, and these are all keywords that I want to rank for. So I recommend that wherever you can, use you can't use bullets that I've seen on LinkedIn so use these dashes instead of bullets but wherever you can use specific numbers for what you've done and use uh, and use dashes or bullet points to convey the information kind of like a resume the other thing that you want to do is make sure that you connect with your company on LinkedIn so um, this is my company so I'm gonna go use another one as an example um, but for this one you'll notice that again I use bullet points right here and that I'm using specific numbers in here to talk about what I've done. You'll also notice that I have a lot of projects, organizations, and courses, uh, as well as recommendations. Now you, you have control over your recommendations, although you do rely on other people to get those, but you can certainly add projects, organizations, and courses. Um, but when you want to connect with your specific company, notice that this is highlighted in blue. And when I click on this, it'll actually link to this company company page or this company's LinkedIn uh, company page so um, when people search for this company you will pop up in the searches for LinkedIn when people search for this specific company so that's why it's important to make sure that your profile is linked to the company that you work for um, most companies that you work for will have a company page if you work for a smaller company they may not have a LinkedIn company page and I would recommend that you offer to create one for them because then this will this will boost you up even further but the way to make sure that you're linked to the company that you work for is pretty easy go back up to the top when you click edit profile you go down to the section of uh, your experience uh, so if you scroll down here you can see that you can go down in here and you can click um, edit your experience or edit your position so if I were to go in here and click edit it would give me the option to add the name of the company so you can you can see this one's already connected to my company but if you clicked change company display name or change company and clicked into here and start typing in your company name you will see that it will go to autocomplete with the company name that you have so you can actually select your company if they have a LinkedIn profile page I highly recommend doing this because people will find you because of the company that you work for. Now I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to change anything here, but definitely recommend doing that and flush out your experience and your companies with some of the stuff that you've done that you want people to find you for. Use a lot of keywords that you want people to search for you for um, and also make sure that you use specific numbers wherever applicable. And I'll talk in another, lection, uh, another section or another lesson of this course about how to add 
these very uh, eye-catching pictures for work that you've done. So check out the rest of it, but that's number four or five for the things that you do to supercharge your LinkedIn profile today.